In health news today, about 35,000 Americans have cystic fibrosis. That's a genetic disorder that causes all kinds of problems with both breathing as well as digestion. In our HealthCast, we're going to share the story today of a Fort Lauderdale woman whose life was saved by a double lung transplant. It was her dream, but Katie Gregory wasn't sure she would ever be a mom. She was born with cystic fibrosis, which causes a thick, sticky mucus to build up in the lungs and other organs. By 2015, her lungs were failing. Wheelchair bound, I couldn't walk across, you know, from me to you without just being so out of breath. So that was, that was not, you know, something that was, I was used to prior to that. That same year, she underwent a life-saving double lung transplant. Katie was a really unique experience in that when I met her, I don't think she really knew how sick and how far along her disease had gotten. Dr. Jason Tarowski, a pulmonologist with Cleveland Clinic, Ohio, performed Katie's surgery in September of 2015. I think it's so from a standpoint of transplants, Katie has been an example of really a success story. Living with a fresh set of lungs meant Katie would need to take anti-rejection medications for life, making pregnancy risky. I kind of just wrote it off that it wasn't in my cards. Thanks to IVF and the support of two surrogates, she now has a toddler and twins. Having gone on and lived a successful life, having a really great job, getting married and having three babies, that's incredibly unique. I've never seen that before until Katie. When Katie and her husband, Jerome, count their blessings, the donor who saved her life is at the top of the list. It's just something that, uh, you know, I'll cherish forever. And, um, you know, the fact that she made that choice to be an organ donor is, is why I'm here, you know. And lung transplantation, we should tell you, it's really not all that common. Only about 2,000 people receive a lung transplant every year. That's compared to about 18,000 people who'll get a kidney transplant.